The United States is increasing pressure on its European NATO allies to establish a long-term train and advise mission in Iraq. But the U.S. Secretary of Defense, James Mattis, has sent a letter to the NATO headquarters in January calling for a formal NATO mission to Iraq with a semi-permanent or permanent command to train Iraqi forces. Why so would be a good question. And after a three-year war with the Islamic State, Washington now wants to ensure that terrorists do not re-emerge. Currently, NATO has roughly about 20 trainees in Iraq. In his letter, James Mattis has left many details open, but has suggested that developing military academies and also a military doctrine for the Iraqi Defense Ministry and other ideas included the bomb disposal training, maintenance of Soviet-era vehicles and medical training. The NATO's defense chiefs will provide ministers with a range of options for an Iraqi mission as the NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has discussed the issue with the Iraqi Prime Minister Hader al-Abadi, who supports a mission. Diplomats and the U.S. push is also a part of President Donald Trump's demand that the Western alliance go beyond its core task of defending its territory and help stem the Islamic militancy.